pay all of there's a big explanation given concerning the rules of the vowels but uh, when you get time just read it let us see the example of this kind in the Kiras text on page 208 Yeah, ekal, ekalat, ekalt, ekalt, ekalet Same way as ktal No difference a kal wow. uh, but here we uh, we have the a vowel for the whole paradigm for both the past and the future but for tal we don't have the a or we don't have the vowel on its first letter, right? Thal, third masculine, we don't have that vowel. Ketilas, then for Ktalt, Ktalt, Ketile. For the third person feminine and for the first common only, we have that vowel on the first yes. root letter. And here, for the entire paradigm, we have the Vowel. That's the un, uh, that's one of the differences between these two paradigms. Ekal, ekalat, ekalt, ekalt, ekalet. And again, ekal, ekal, ekaltun, ekalten, ekalna or ekalnan. Nekul. Tekul, there is no assimilation happening here. Hmm? No letter is disappearing. Nekul, tekul, tekul, teklin, ekul. Nekalun, nekalon. Tekalun, tekalon. Notice that in the plural we have the plural sign or the seame only on the feminine plurals okay that's common in every other declensions of paradigms okay for the plural ones we don't put the plural signs imperatives akul 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 infinitive to eat mekal Take the example of Emar. Emar, Emrat, Emrat, Emar, Emar, Emret. The past tense is the same, but when you come to the future or the imperfect, instead of Neymar, we have Neymar. Yeah, Neymar. And because of the resh at the end, we keep the a vowel on the meme. In the previous case, nekul, we have u, right? Yes. But here we have nimar. That's the influence of resh. Or uh, when we have a guttural sound like a, uh, the a sound, there also it will be most likely the a sound. Okay. Nimar, timar, timar, timarin, imar. Nimarun, nimron. Timarun, timron. Nimar. And the imperative is just amar, 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 amar. 
infinitive mimar let's try to connect everything with the payal tal that's the best way to remember the declension and follow the rules concerning the vowels when I say follow the rules <laughs> instead of learning all the rules at least try to memorize the different types then you will be able to recognize if you find a new word you can identify which kind of paradigm you have to follow be fine shall we just read the explanation in this yeah. chapter 21 this class includes some very common verbs such as ekal to eat amr to say and ezal to go the peculiarities of pay alaf verbs can be considered under four headings of which the first two are general rules already familiar in chapter 3 involving all of all of must have a vowel at the beginning of a word or, or syllable this is the same rule that dictated the form a katel for the first singular pael imperfect for the pael of the pael of verbs this rule affects some forms of the perfect passive par participle and the imperative <laughs> it's confusing it's hard to follow uh, in the perfect the vowel to be supplied is a as in a kal not a kal yeah the not just like katal it is a kal in the passive participle the vowel is a as in a bead destroyed aki okel okel is the active participle and the passive will be akil the imperative it is usually also a example akul but it is a for those verbs whose stem vowel in the imperfect is a example amr This rule also affects the perfect and imperfect appeal. The vowel on all of is A. It will take time to understand all these rules. <laughs> I don't think it is necessary to understand all these rules better <laughs> memorize the table <laughs> and you have whenever you feel like having any doubt regarding the paradigm you have this text refer to this one this book that's the best thing you can do here so shall we try the the exercises Yao mo how the begoro. Ah, uh, this is on uh, page ninety-six. Ninety-six, yeah. Lo nehut le mesab medem 
दब बैते इट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ बेगो रो इज इट रिटर्न इन दिस सेक्शन या रूफ एगो रो एगो रो प्लस बेत या या दौलत एंड बेस बोथ आर इनसेपरेबल पार्टिसिपल्स द फंक्शन ऑफ दौलत इज रिलेटिव प्रोनो इंट्रोड्यूसिंग अ क्लॉस बहाव यव मो ऑन दैट डे हाव द बेगो रो Uh, how that person, Dolat, who was on the roof, or oh, is on the roof, or in the <laughs> uh, in the roof? That's not good English. So, who is on the roof? Did not go down. Ah, uh, lo nehut. Should not. Will not. Should go not. Down. Or should not go down. Should not. It is an imperative. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lo nehut should not should not go down. Le me sab to take. Yeah, to take ne sab so that noon is disappearing here. Right in the infinitive, yeah. mm. le mesa to take something. something or anything from his house. Yeah, from inside of his house. Yeah, that is inside that is his inside house. his house. Dab by te, anything that is inside his house. So, uh, just have a picture of this in your mind. You can identify the style of houses from the sentences. From the sentence, mm -hmm. so it is. Mm -hmm. Right now, is it easy for us to run from the rooftop to anywhere? Mm -hmm. So, in their geographical setting, I think it is easy for them to. So they will be doing something on the rooftop. Mm -hmm. From there itself. Quick on that day, on the final judgment day, <laughs> don't go inside the house. You will be stuck in it. Better run off from it. So instead of having a picture of that uh, place, instead of a real picture, we can have. The social what situations or everything from the writings itself. Very interesting. Yes. Yeah. Metul Metul ara o hode yoda i yeah yoda in atun. Mulkono Daloho Daloho Will love Naikun. Because of this land, Metul Ara O Hote. Yeah, 
this way. You're the in tune. Yoda to know. Y you know? Yeah. You know? The promise. The promise? Of God. Of God. To you, Lakun. And your children. And your children, yeah. What? So the Lam. Mm -hmm. And the Etli. Lam is, um, what do you say, a quotation mark. Mm. Or introducing a clause, what do you say, a participle, a particle indicating direct speech. Mm -hmm. The Etli, that is the uh, imperfect of the verb Netel. The first. Ah, give. Yeah, to give. 